great today. It is day 28 of our Paint Something or Another Challenge. We've been going for almost 30 days now. That is the goal, to work 30 days straight, painting something to basically paint our homes in here, my shop, a little bit better than how I found it. And uh, I'm just glad you guys are along for the ride as well. Okay, so yesterday, last night, you guys hung out with me as we painted in the bathroom. We did things that we've never done before, like hung out in the bathtub. Um, yeah, if you're wondering about that, make sure you go back and watch yesterday's video. I can tell you that Matt's wearing clothes today. I'm sitting on the floor, and you're actually here in my office, here in my shop. My so office. Your office. Your office is next door. Okay, my, yeah, the art studio. My art studio is next door. This adjoins it. This is full of... Uh, this like, is where the heavy lifting gets done. Really? You think so? <laughs> you think so, yes. This is the room where... It, because, okay, let me just back up, okay? You guys know that a few months ago, we took over uh, the top space of the building that is Jug Monkey Paint Company, and actually, it is just a full-on uh, apartment space. And so, the room that we're in right now is actually what was, in a typical place, this would be, like, considered the living room. It's a nice-sized living room. And it has a faux fireplace. In fact, when we moved in up here, we ripped up all the carpet and just put it down to the bare floors, painted the floors, and this was, like, you never see those... Um, the, the paper that looks like marble, like with the green, the marbleized green on black, like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Painted the whole thing in uh, Liberty Blue, glazed it with black. That video is here on uh, the Facebook page, by the way. Guys, we do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, okay? And so, make sure you follow it along, because there's always something new and exciting. So today, today, what project could I be doing today when you look at this going, well, girl, you already did fireplace. But you know what I didn't do? The logs. I didn't do the logs. So here in this living space, this living room that is now like an office, an editing office, and amongst other things that we do here, I'm going to go ahead today and take it one step further because you can see above this full uh, mantle is actually a map. Can you see a part of it up right there? Because, no, not really. You know, I can't this, see it. You can, you can show. Yeah, okay. it's a map. There's a map, all right? And so because this is a fully functional uh, living space, that, like I said, it's part of our shop <laughs> space. But, you know what? Let's paint the logs to match the mat. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do some fun colors. This is going to be a great... Um, it's great going to be a little bit out. brighter than the mat. Yeah, I think we should get some fun colors with that, right? How fun would that be? Yes, you can paint your logs with Jump Monkey Girl. Even if you don't have a real fireplace, this is also a good example for somebody out there who's trying to create like a focal point in your space. Maybe you have a living space, maybe you're renting, maybe you don't even have a fireplace. This is not a working one, but this is just a pretend one. You know, it's a real mantle, but there is no fire, right? This is just a cardboard insert that I painted with black velvet, <laughs> Liberty Blue, glazed with uh, black glaze. And so, but it should also give you some good inspiration for, you know what, the next time you're out in the thrift store in a salvage yard, an architectural place, and they've ripped out a, um, a mantle from another house, you can put it to yours a beautiful focal uh, piece around it, and yes, you can paint your fake logs, okay? So, you know, there was some there was some furniture left in this space. I've already painted that. Let's get started. So let's see <laughs> how many real logs I have to paint today, okay? You want to tell me who's with me? One, two, three, four. We're going to need more than five colors five, for that. six, seven colors. All right, we're good. Um, All right, seven colors. And, um, you know, and I got, I got an idea as well for, like, how we're going to finish them up, okay? So these are just truly wood pieces. Maple of a tree. Piece, pieces of maple. Are they maple? Yeah. All right. There you go. Matt says they're maple. Oh, look, we could totally carve into these. You know? You know? We gotta be like Matt Lasagna and put in the fireplace like a little um, Easter egg. You know what I'm talking about? Matt, stop rolling your eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a color on here. You want to uh, tell me what yeah, give me a second. I could be rambling because it is day 20 of the 30 day challenge, alright? I just waiting for you to get done. Chevy chip brush. Crazy eyes. Dry brushing Ow. over real wood. I don't know whose water this is, but I'm going to drink it. Okay, it's not, well, it might be mine, but you're good. You won't die. <laughs> <laughs> Are they real logs? Yes, Might they're real. Crazy. They are actually real logs. Yeah. They are. They're dried out, so like they've been in here, right? But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, God knows how long they've been in here. Who knows? Listen, yeah. I'll paint over the dust bunnies and everything to make it interesting. And uh, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. So 
Jackson. Mm -hmm. Mert Sonheimer, Dare to Be You, designed by Marlis is on it. You look beautiful. Mary Ellen's on. Uh, Linda, Linda, Linda. Angela Porter, what? Michelle Donahoe, Mel's on YouTube. Kathy Campbell, Kimberly Youngs, Linda Olson, Trudy, Catherine, Scott Brooks, Shirley, Mary Dawn. Doug and June, Donna, Holly, Cindy, Lauren. Well, I think it's funny. We've been, this is day 28 for this, but the last day we actually took off was Thanksgiving. Yes. We've been filming. Yeah, we did Vlogmas. We also with day to day. Yeah. At this point now. New Year's Day. Really thinking there should be cake when we hit our like 30 day. You're just, you know, you're, you're looking I'm for. Really excuse to have cake, okay? Let's mm -hmm. be honest here. That's celebrate the little things before the big things, you know? So yeah. I just did a dry brush of this log, okay? So when your husband's in the background going, what in the world is that girl painting now? Yep, she's painting the logs in a fireplace, people. All right, and so this is going to be a great way Hello, to do the same colors as well. Tell me, is that. Fireplace mail for something. No, it's part of our, it's part, it's part, of, the, it's part yeah. of the building. Yeah. <laughs> so we just made it beautiful. But yeah. You can go get one, paint one too, right? Okay, I'm going to use Trudy's some. Trudy's homesick today. I oh, hope you're feeling better. Not good. I'm going to use some Loki Clover. Remember the tip I always tell you? Just leave some water in the spray bottles. Keep spray bottles mm. because... If at any given time you need to like, you know, you just really like you you haven't been into your paint for a while, you just want to make it really blue it again, our paint works yes, you're able to add water to it to really, really you know, you can really, really just water it as much as you want. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the t-shirts, we just have to put them online. They're, they're actually here. We just yeah. have to put them online. Because... Just keep watching. Yeah. Watching you making a bow for my live on Saturday, my group making a Valentine's Day. Oh, she's making a bow. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Tanya Moore shredded this video. Shredded this video? Yes. <laughs> she meant to share, but she shredded it. I love it. So, anyways, let me, we'll uh, start a whole new uh, verbiage. This video is shredded, man. Totally shredded. Oh, that was terrible. What was? That was terrible. Really? Yes. Doesn't that sound like... No, that sounds totally like singular. 1985. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Let it die. <laughs> let it die. Oh, all right. Boy, it is a woman. Told YouTube you is choppy on both my phone and tablet. Well, let me see if I can switch to... Hang on, YouTube. I'm going to switch to in this country like LA that would probably pay $150 or per. Piece of wood? Yes. Well, we're discovering the market tonight together. Oh, so those logs together. are going to pop. Yes, they are. Right. Tony was trying to type so shared pretty. with a three year old. On, on, on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go live next week and Junk Monkey some furniture. It'll take me twice as long to paint. As long as you're doing it. Hey, yeah. Uni hi, Connie from Uniontown. Love this color. This is our um, sunshine yellow. Are you going to use Raisin the Bar? I need that color. Oh, that's a pretty glam color. Yeah, I should. I that's should, a glam good color. You know what I'm saying? I should probably go grab it. Has YouTube worked itself out a little bit better? Video's good, sound good. is bad. Good. What are we going to do? I don't know. It's not one thing, it's another thing. Yeah. Even with mics. Oh, Tom even Slaughter. with. Yeah, even with mics on YouTube, it's still bad. Uh, at the end of the day, Shane Dawson doesn't have his prop. Yeah. Right? yeah, but he does produce video. That's different <laughs> when you go live and you have people having microphones on you and you have you can edit it and you can boost the sound and all that sort of stuff. Ask me, I used to be a reporter. I know about how you can manipulate sound, all right? But this is live and so you kinda gotta Hello. take it you kinda gotta wow. take it as it is because if you wanna hang out live and you're using a free platform to do it, then you gotta be thankful for what it does today, you know? <laughs> Katie's going to support her Jump Monkey Madness at her craft show on Sunday. And I want you to know, I yawn. I yet, uh, before anybody comments, I yawn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get yelled at yeah, afterwards. you are. Every so, time. there I mean, you go. Sleep at this point, guys. Mm. This is Sunshine Yellow. Sunshine Yellow. Yeah. Yeah, it's like super warm yeah. in here. And you're just watching me paint, so you're probably like, uh, Yeah. So, but this is a nice way to be able to see the colors. Yes, these are real logs, and so will they all stand up perfectly? They, they may not, you know? Let's see if we can get them just to stand. Stand by me. 
Oh, there's a heat gun to dry them off. Yeah. Feel free Jen to says Matt needs some carbs. You shut your mouth, Jen. Some what? Carbs. carbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we do. And he doesn't have bubble wrap. Okay, who can guess what color this is? Let's see. Let's see if you can guess what color this is. Mm -hmm. Why is Sonya painting fireplace so much? Why one? not? <laughs> Why not, people? Why not? I She's, uh, else. yes, I've been cooking keto the last few days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're back on the, Matt's birthday. We yeah, we're back on the, yes. Now we're back on the wagon. So, yeah, we look at each other going, what the heck? Yeah. Man, the car cranes are so bad on Monday. Tell me about that table in the back. Um, it's an early... Ooh. It's an early 20th century okay. repro of a jacket, well, a Rococo table. Uh, it has... Now, that's, it, how, that's how Matt tells the story. It's a mix between... It's a mix between Jacobin and Rococo because it has two different styles. It has the Jacobin seaweed pattern and it has the Rococo uh, thistle on it. So, there you go. And this is my story. Mm -hmm. I get an email from a girl about... An hour to an hour and a half away from my shop, and she says, I'm moving. I am it's desperately city. trying to uh, sell furniture, um, and I'm looking for homes for it, and I can't sell what I have left. Will you take it? Will you come and look at the stuff? So she had a table, she had a hut, she had chairs, and so I bought all that off of her. She wasn't going to sell that. That's what I came to. What are you talking about? She wasn't going to sell that because her father, it was her no, father's. No, you're completely wrong. See, this is my story. You weren't even in the room. She All said, right. do you want to look at the table no. upstairs? Can I tell you, can I tell the story? Okay. All right. So we're downstairs, and she, at this point, is going, I got more stuff here besides the table and the buffet. Will you take a look at it? Because I really want to sell, sell some stuff. So I walked through all of her house with her, and I ended up buying more stuff that you try to fit. You go, well, I only came for the table and this, but now <laughs> I want more, right? And then at the very top of her landing, going upstairs, she's going, I don't suppose you'd be interested in this. And that is what this is right there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're selling that girl? And she's like, yes. And I said, that's beautiful. And I'm like, where did you find that? And she said, it's been in my family. It was my dad's. She's like, it got broken at one time. But she's like, I don't want it anymore. I'm like, are you sure you don't want to sell this? Because it looks pretty special. And she's like, uh, but, you know, and she's like, no, seriously, I can't take it with me. If you don't take it, it's probably going to get burned. I just don't know what to do with it. So if you see anything in this house at this point, just give me something for it and take it. And I'm like, okay. And I said, well, how much do you want for this piece? You go ahead and you tell me. And, you know, I bought it for $40. For 40 bucks, I bought this piece behind me. And, um, and I told her I was going to research it to see what I could find out about it. And Matt actually, at that point, contacted um, a company. Sotheby's. Yep, that does uh, well, appraisals. So Sotheby's does the high-end auctions. So they do appraisals of furniture and things like that. And so he sent a million gazillion pictures, you know. Yeah. Yes, it's all hand-carved, yeah. It's you all see hand the crack carved. right there, and there's one over there. Yeah. And, but it's so beautiful, right? Yeah. And so we knew it was really cool. And what, how did they describe it? They said, I thought it was a lot older, but because okay. it didn't have, it is hand-carved. But the originals had a uh, Corinthian marble in it, and uh, they said that it was late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, a Rococo revival table. So and if it, it wasn't, wasn't cracked, broken, it would yeah. have been worth 7000 but with the crack, it's worth 700 yeah. But I'll take it. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's I haven't awesome. let her, I, I, I haven't let her paint it. <laughs> I haven't let you paint it. You know what I really want to do with it? Because I appreciate it for what it is. It's beautiful. She wants to paint it. No, actually, what I would do with it <laughs> is I would monkey shine it. I haven't done it yet. It's just been sitting. It was covered, and it was in storage, and now I put my printer onto it right yeah. there. So it I thought is. it was a lot older because there's no metal in it, no screws. It's all it's one of those yeah, peg, yeah, that peg, I don't paint. Peg and dial, yeah. yeah. It has some white paint on the bottom got on it somehow, but it's pretty It's okay. I still love it as it is, right? Yeah. It doesn't need to be perfect for me. It's so beautiful as it is. I, I like how all of a sudden it became your table, and I was like, I was like, no. Oh, it's, it's, your table. it's been my table. Oh, okay. So then you're telling me I found a good find. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my find. I was there. <laughs> yes. Well, I was talking to her upstairs. You were looking out the table, but I bought downstairs. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, you know, nobody realizes, I mean, I know you guys are junkers on here, so you'll appreciate when I say this, 
that, um, you know, there's a lot of work that comes into hauling junk. It's not just as easy as, oh, yeah, you got a buffet, come get it for $25. You've got to get that out of the house. You've got to get that onto the back of the truck, off the back of the truck, before you can start to work with it. Like, the amount of work that goes in to finding pieces, I don't even think people who don't flip furniture realize how much work goes into it, right? So, that's Midnight Blue. Um, yeah, this one's Midnight Blue. For those of you from uh, Pennsylvania, that's Penn State Blue. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So I'm going to just take my shabby chip brush. I'm not trying to get full coverage on it. You can probably see some parts where you can see the true log, you know, there. I love how this looks. So pretty. Even, you know, guys, uh, you know when you see fireplaces, fake fireplaces, and um, they have, like, candles set up on the inside of it? Like, it's beautiful, right? So same idea. I just decided tonight that I am going to paint these logs that came um, with this fireplace when we rented this space in the building. So, and probably somebody else would turn out and be like, that's somebody else's dirt, throw it out, because it's, you know, dusty and blah, 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 you know? And I think they had a cat and all that stuff. I'll just paint it over it, okay? Oh, they're not going outside. They're going right back in the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. But this is nice because, think about, like, your steps and stuff like that. If you ever want to just put some fun, cut some fun logs off their mm -hmm. ones and paint them and stuff for your steps, you know, that'd be beautiful. Alright, this color here, you don't even know what color this is. Let's see here. Ah, ha, ha. Dumbo, Jen, you, you tell him. She said, my 16 yeah. year old said, the son said that, made the mistake of telling her that he prefers helping me move furniture to emptying dishwashers. Oh! Fool, he, because he <laughs> thinks that you're not yes. going to do that that often. That's yes. why. Yes, right? Yeah, my son has always said, Mom, why could hobby like stamp collecting like seriously why did they have to haul furniture because it is a lot of work i love this color this color is did anybody guess it did you, see, you recognize it all you mommy tell give me a hashtag banana bunch guys for all of you lovely banana bunchers who just you know you know this paint better than i do you guys just hang out and support and paint and create and by the way we do have a free group on facebook it's called junk monkey paint projects if you're easter egg vlogs what? What What did you say? Uh, Ray said Easter egg logs. There you go. Yeah, yeah I guess right? Easter's coming That'd be so up cool. Now. You know what? I was also thinking that if, you know, for like filling up fireplace, imagine that you paint your logs. You can do them all antique lace if you want, right? You can do them all fun colors. You know, I'm a fun color lover, so I'm going to put mine all fun colors. But imagine if you uh, wrapped some of those beautiful fairy lights. That's the that, elf you know, in you. Light, lights around. That's the elf in me. You look at that. Yeah. If you wrap like some really pretty soft lights around it and plug it in, and then your lights in your faux fireplace, they glow, right? How pretty! Oh, that thank is. you, Shirley. I'm telling you, these are the things that have to be made. Of, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. I'm late, but I made it. Well, late, welcome, Jesse. Yes. Oh, you By the way, did you talk about bananas today? No, I didn't. Everybody new on here? Yeah. yeah. Are People are already sharing. I think we. They know. Well, is there anybody new who found us? 20 banana bucks for YouTube and 20 for Facebook. All you have to do is share and then type share below in is your that, dining room. Is that your, uh, your voice? Yeah. Is that your QVC voice? No, that's, that's not. That's your Bob Barker. Come on down. No. That, that's your game show voice. No. You know, Matt saw yesterday I that can't. Amazon now has this thing like QVC. Did you guys see that? There's like live people demonstrating the products on Amazon. It's crazy. We just saw it. Lori Grenier just got killed. <laughs> I love Shark Tank. I do. Yeah. Anybody else love Shark Tank? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it when you can find like, stuff like that on uh, Netflix. And you can just binge. And the computer says, Are you still watching? Are you putting yeah, Pete I'm still over? Watching. I don't think we're putting Pete on these guys tonight. I don't know. I don't know. I have him by my know. side. I've been debating. So we'll just see by the time I get done how I feel and how I, how I like it. Oh, this is a great way, guys, Whoa. to be able to see all the colors, all right? So, I need one more color. Hey, Kim in Louisiana. I don't Matt's big to top voice. It used to be my, I used to have a radio voice, but I don't have that anymore. Okay. Now it's just so, hey, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in my smoky coal and break it in my smoky coal. I, instead of going with, like, the other color I have here is an antique lace, but it's going to be too, too, like, you know, too mm -hmm. bright compared to all the colors. Now, the color I'm going to use here, the smoky coal, is the color that when you want a gray to match brown, because maybe you want 
bring gray's and gray's in your place, but at the same time you've got like you know wood floors and things like mm -hmm. that. How do you make your gray match up so it feels cozy and it feels not a blue cold gray because wood is warm? You go with a gray like smoky cold. So this is our brown based gray, and you'll see even when I put on here, this is a log, so this is real wood, and when you put on the brown gray onto it, it just feels like it matches, right? Like it just. I personally like Mr. Wonderful. To me, he's the only one that's actually doing business on there. The other guys are going, oh, that's great. You guys are great, blah, blah, blah. But Mr. Mr. Wonderful, you know, when he talks, yeah. when he talks, he's talking business. He's very business-oriented. He's very business-oriented. And there is a lot of... You can just tell. He yeah. doesn't have any time for even, like, socialization. He's just like, give me the number. Yeah, because you know that's what he loves to do, and if you're if you're not on that same wavelength, you know you don't get. And that's why that's why I like him because he's all business, you know. If you're an analytical person. Yeah, and if you're gonna listen, if you listen to anybody and take any advice from anybody on that show, he throws out a lot of nuggets. But you see, up uh, we painted last month for a shop, needed our help to get some um, just merchandising shelves ready before her store opened and we went out and did some beautiful shelving for her and uh, if you saw on that live we actually showed some of the the products that she was selling and she had uh what was it called it was for it's for cats i think it was dog dog cigars but there was for cats and it was like cat bernay which was some products that were shown on shark tank which is pretty cool oh they had cat ones i can't remember all the names Pino meow Pino meow you're right yeah yeah that was a big one yeah so fun. I admire companies that just kind of like are fun. You know what I mean? That break out and have a sense of humor and just be Yeah, Moscato. Yeah. Yes, that was a good one. That was a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. So anyway, I can appreciate, you know, just a good sense of humor. So I like that. Love it. What do you guys think? So Sounds far? like it's raining on YouTube. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Really? Who the heck even knows? All right, we're coming in right here. Did you see where they HDTV was redoing the Brady Bunch house? No, I did not. I would like to see that. I never ever saw. I don't think an episode of that show. Yeah. I think we're watching it. I always like that out. house. So if I want to make smoky coal lighter, mix antique lace or white, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So if you add either antique lace or white, definitely, you know, either or. But obviously, if I add white to any of these colors. It mellows everything down. So if I add it white to um, my mermaid tail to make it more of an aqua color, this is going to give me more, maybe even like a, a robin's egg blue color. This is going to give me like a lemony color. This is going to give me a crim crim creamsicle color. If I add some white, you know what I'm saying? If I add white to this, it gets everything gets brought down to pastel, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, it all just mellows it out, which is a whole lot of fun. All right, so. Um, I'm trying to think now. Do I want to put some peat? Should I put some peat on here? What do you think? Peat it. Peat it? No, don't peat it. Peat it? No. no. What do you think? No. No? No. No. No? no. Alright, let's see what it looks like. No. I think it's all dry. Just stack them in there. Alright, let's go ahead and try it. Try to stack them on right. a triangle. I'll go back. What? Back yeah, like, you know, like a little pyramid. No, no, that, leave it the way it was. Okay. Just try to pyramid it. Pyramid it. Okay. Yeah, we'll I try. would, well... Sign it. Like this? Yep, go ahead. Okay. Put the big ones on the bottom. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. All right. All right. Big, okay, one. The green one. big one, gray one. Okay, let me just dry this because this is the last one. I, I would do the uh, I would do the mermaid tail, antique lace, and the gray. Okay. 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 Okay
Green in the middle. Okay, that makes sense. So let's color up front. This is up as front far as it can go. Green in the middle. Well, if you start a fire in that place, it's going to burn the house down. Like this? Because it's a fake fireplace. Yeah. Like this? Okay. All right. Yeah, now start the other one. Stock. Mermaid tail? Yep. In the back. Okay. Mermaid tail in the back. Right in the here. back. Yep. Okay. In the back. Yep. Now I'll stack the other ones there. Yellow. Are right you good? Yeah. So it's pretty. All right. I love it. And then we put our blue. Yep. And then Bahama Jade. And then we put our Bahama Jade. Oh, my favorite color. Isn't that pretty? I love it so much. So imagine if you, uh, like I said, if you had a little twinkle light. It's a bright like red. Uh, red apple's bright red. You could so, like, you know, yep. serve your lot, so you could assemble them however if you want to assemble them. But I think that's pretty cool. So now show them the map, and now show them the, uh, the base down here. The map. You know? The base. The, the map. map. Totally matches, the right? Base. This is a function in office. Looks so. like candy. Yes, well, you know, we are Willy Wonka. Ah, candy. I love it. We so, are... Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. What, what do you say? We are the musicians and we are the dreamers of dreams. We're the what? Nothing. The weirdos? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I could put Pete on top of here if I wanted to. I could um, put a little there. I got a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of oh, on there. Is it? Pete's gonna kill, I'll or uh, Skip's gonna it. gonna be upset. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Dora the Explorer. We're gonna take a little bit of our black velvet, and we're gonna like. <laughs> you know, we're gonna there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 She said, if you staggered the logs, you can see all the colors. Girl, I need to come over, because I'm yeah. not good at building um, yes. the fire. Yes. And I just, right now, yeah, no, the no offense, the I just, yeah, the heat's killing me. Okay. I'm just like, it oh, is warm and I'm along for the ride tonight. Nice. I love that. I really, really like it. Like I said, wrap it in some lights, plug it in. If you had a little apartment and you find yourself, uh, just the mantle, Ooh. this is cardboard inside. You can do some really cool stuff with it. And, um, yeah, right? Yeah, when I painted this fireplace and took it from fake, pretend, stick-on paper on blocks that look terrible, um, I did not have Pete in existence, right? Pete is our new product this week that we finally launched. Okay. Fake shiny dreams for your furniture. And when I look at Pete and I look at this fireplace right now, like we have you, We have central air in here. I think you can have a little Pete on there. Yeah, we have central heat in here, but the heater is like ten times bigger than what this building needs. So but it I'm gets not more. Plain, no. I don't have all the Listen, we woke up this morning, guys, with frozen plates at our house, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, I am not, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of heat on over these little emblems that are on my fireplace because it dries clear and shimmery. You just, you out. cannot leave well enough alone. Well, I'm going to let this set up. Never know when you put it on, it's going to look white. That's just your guide to know where you put it. It dries clear. But yeah, I do. I want a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shimmering on these pieces. So I feel like I should do that while I'm working right here. <laughs> Everybody's like, I got I a knew yellow rug down, Pete. a yellow uh, rug. So I think it's going to work out really nice. Mm -hmm. See, you said that painting furniture did not like, you know, give you abs mm -hmm. and, you know, you stretch for it, right? Reach for the stars. All right, I love that. I'm just going to put it right there. Could I go all over with it? But that's gonna be beautiful. Mm -hmm. that set up, right? So pretty, so so pretty. So yeah, with our so I could just view this as a, a poly, like a shimmery poly, or I can view it as a metallic paint because it is a two in one. And while I don't tell you guys to rush your poly, I'm going to basically help mine set up tonight only because we're on camera and I wanna show you guys that it does right here. Oh my. You go all over it too. Do you hear the thunder song? <laughs> Do I hear the thunder? The thunder. Oh, I love that. All right. I almost feel like I should go over the fireplace with Pete. Get more excited. Wouldn't that be fun? No. I might wake up tomorrow and decide to go all over the fireplace with him. Because I like it. But do it in a shabby chick rush so I get these blues and blacks coming. Can you see that on camera? Is it setting up? Yeah, it's starting. It's time? getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. It really shows on the uh, like coat of arms, yeah. All right, I love it. I painted all this with uh, Mr. Uh, 
Beyond the Dead with our black velvet, so at any given time, I really need to clean it up a bit. Let me try. Easy, easy. Let it sit that dry in there. All right, guys, and so with that, I am pretty darn happy. All right? Yes, I could have done these with Pete as well. Pretty cool. I'm going to come over and sneak a peek, sneak a peek before Matt goes ahead and hollers out some banana bucks. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yep, pretty darn cool. I love it. I love it. Okay, happy days, happy days. And so tomorrow, um, when I come in, I will take up this painter's chart, move all my uh, paint cans, and uh, take a picture of the floor and everything with it. But with a yellow, with a yellow rug and all this color, right? So, yeah, you can do fun stuff. And, yes, you can paint Alright, and with that said, Matt, do you have a winner for us? I may have one. Oh, winner, winner. Somebody on Facebook and YouTube, if you hang with us, you like you know that we like to share our Pete stash. Yes, YouTube. So we give out free stuff every video when we do our tutorials. YouTube. Yep. YouTube, Dorothea McBrady. And on Facebook, Tina Mc uh, Tina Gervin. I was going crazy with the mix. It's actually Dorothea McBrady, YouTube, and Tina Gervin on uh, Facebook. Yay! Very nice. So, girls, you know what Hi, you Mama. do? Make sure you email me at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, before this offer ceases to exist. So do it now as soon as we're done. And for those of you who always message and ask, can you reuse your brushes? Yes, I do. I will go to my painter sink, and I will clean these real quick with some lye soap, which is on our website as well. It conditions. It helps just keep your brushes around for the long haul. It cleans them really nice and thoroughly. So I'm going to go grab my soap and my warm water and um, basically clean these all off so we can do a whole other project again tomorrow. So thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Give me some hearts if you think, uh, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about this. Maybe you want to just have fun with it and you can create an entirely faux focal point for your home. And you can do many colors you want. All right. I will see you guys again tomorrow.